Hey, welcome back to the OJ Today, everybody. You know, playing junior hockey is obviously a huge challenge, and not just on a competitive level. You got to manage your time as a player, uh, as a student, and on top of that, you're just a teenager. You want to do teenager things and go out and enjoy your life. Well, Michael Kingo of the Georgetown Raiders has had all those responsibilities, plus he's been helping to run a remarkable charity that's been wholly embraced by both the Georgetown Raiders and the league. We've got more on that now. This segment is brought to you by Clean Quip. Clean Quip is the official disinfectant supplier to the OJHL. Saves like that by rookie goaltender Mikhail Kingo are a big reason why the Georgetown Raiders are in the thick of the playoff race in the West Division. But it's his contributions off the ice that have drawn even more attention. Mikhail is involved with the Angel Project, a charitable foundation started by his mother, Lizette. My aunt actually works at a hospital in uh, London where I grew up, uh, Strathroy. About 12, 13 years ago, my family really wasn't well off, but we decided for Christmas instead of us getting gifts, we'd actually give our money to contribute um, to the patients there. That's kind of how it started, then it just flourished from there and grew into an amazing organization. The Angel Project is a not-for-profit organization that focuses on assisting patients in complex care. So the thing about complex care patients is for equipment, the government only gives 80% of the money towards equipment. So where are they supposed to get that other 20%? Say they need a $10,000 wheelchair, where are they gonna get the other $2,000 to get the wheelchair? Um, there have also been plenty of situations where we've had to actually buy iPads and things for these patients and give them a voice. So a lot of the, a lot of the time when they're paralyzed fully, they can't speak, um, they need special devices, which can be pretty expensive. We step in with the things they need. And we also, um, step in to help give them things like toiletries. They're not given these basic necessities to make a living and it's like it's horrible. So we just try to step in any aspect that we can. Either it's buying a two thousand dollar wheelchair or it's buying a dollar toothbrush for them. It started off as when I was like four or five years old going to the hospitals delivering gifts with my mom and uh, through that I kind of grew through a grassroots of really learning to care about these patients and forming a relationship with them. By the age of six, Mikhail was making bracelets to sell, donating the money to assist hospital patients. Over the years, his contributions have only grown. He arranges hockey tournaments to raise money for the Angel Project. Additionally, the Peterborough Pete's draftee has created a hockey equipment giveaway, helping to outfit young goaltenders with expensive items they might not otherwise be able to afford. McHale's coach with the Georgetown Raiders, Jeff Angelidis, can't say enough good things about the 17-year-old. He's just, he's a phenomenal human being. He's, um, he's a great person. He's a fierce competitor. Um, he wants the net. He, he, he's continuing to practice his, his trade and, and getting extra work done. Um, phenomenal athlete, phenomenal person. Um, I've said it numerous times, this, this young man has a bright future. Kingo helped get the Raiders on board with his initiatives this season. The whole team raised over $4,000 to get a uh, therapy dog for one of the patients who actually just lost their dog. And it's a really cool environment in the room. Um, the captains, being a rookie myself, it's kind of hard to pitch the idea that everyone brings in a hundred bucks to help out get this dog. But the captains, coaching staff um, really embraced it. And all the boys the next day came in with the money. And then we also had a game, um, a teddy bear toss, which funds went also to the Angel Project. One huge source of pride for Kingo is that the Angel Project is run entirely by volunteers. It's fully um, volunteer, and we, I think that's one thing that makes our charity pretty special. It's all run from the heart. It's not people doing it to make money, people doing it um, 
trying to make a career out of it. It's just everyone trying to help other people. The organization has attracted the admiration of some big names in the hockey world. One of the biggest being Doug Gilmore, who along with his wife have become ambassadors to the program and good friends with the Kingo family. Hi, I'm Doug Gilmore. And I'm Sonia Gilmore. We are angel ambassadors and now more than ever, we need your help. I, th I think my mom goes over to his house um, to meet Sonia and Doug like once a week now, things about the, to talk about things about the angel project and just grown a friendship through that as well. And uh, yeah, it's been really cool. He's really been able to get the word across and uh, it's been really good for the organization. To help with the Angel Project through donations and to volunteer, you can head to its website at theangelproject.ca. For Mikhail, the knowledge that he's helping to make a difference in so many lives makes the time he puts in well worth it. I know a lot of people love receiving gifts, but I think the power of giving is much more, um, much more congratulating. Like it's a lot, it's a lot better feeling. I think it's just really taking the time and effort to put some work in. And I think that goes for every aspect of your life.